Nasofo has been a team that has been in existence for more than 100 years. So we have been following our grandparents and parents, you know, and we got to our turn and we are continuing. So I would say the period that I have survived on this planet, that's the period that I've been, I've been in football and particularly has of folk. One thing a lot of people forgot, forgot is that there were clubs in Ghana before. You know, House of Hope came into being. And there were clubs in the Cape Coast. You know, originally the capital of Ghana was in Cape Coast. So the whites brought some clubs, they, they got some local people involved, but they all faded off, you know, with their departure. Then, of course, um, the football clubs started springing up gradually. You know, I can remember a um, few clubs I can't even remember now, which almost started with House of Fools in the same year. But they all, they all died off with time. But House has been able to survive under different leadership until this time. And I think House has been able to survive because it's been in hands of very serious-minded people, you know, responsible people. We've had head of state. We have run this club before. We've had, um, I think the latest head of state will, will be Professor Ivan Satamilos, of blessed memory. And then we have, uh, we've had the general and cry and others. We have notable figures like uh, the Nairo Kwampim, uh, Mr. Harry Sawyer, well-known politician and, uh, and uh, statesman. Uh, we have uh, D.S. Kwakumpo, Mr. Sakiado, a well-known banker in this country. Mm -hmm. And um, we've had big, big businessmen like Kwesia uh, Santesechi. So this is a club with a wonderful tradition. That's why some of us, even here, at our age, are still trying to keep it going. That's all. So we, we've had very, very outstanding characters in the past, and even in the immediate past also. And even now, the present chairman is a huge personality in this country. So that can tell you, you follow me. Uh -huh. So that, that's how the club have uh, been able to survive. That's why some of us, we feel the tradition must continue. There was a match between us and uh, Accra Great Olympics, you know. And uh, it's a great match, very, very great match. Olympics uh, scored House of Oak two to begin with. And uh, it was then that we saw the spirit of Never Say Die in House of Oak. You know, by then you have players like Abekan Kra, he was popularly known as, I think, um, um, Why Worry? That's Ankara. Why Worry? I mean, he comes with a ball. You don't know how he scores, but he has scored. I mean, by then, the club has strikers. They can score at will if they want to. They can score at will if they want to. Abekan Kra is one. Joe, what do you call it? Um, uh, Joe Gatte is another. And then Robert Foley. They were known as the Three Musketeers. You see them, when they are in the team, then you should know that if you are playing, then you, are in, you have a big problem on your hands. Because the three of them can score at any time. Before even we had the pe people like uh, uh, Badamusi, uh, Joe Gatte, you know, these are wonderful players. You can never, never, and they all play black stars, you see. Olympics thought they had a good team too. Let me make it plain. And they thought it was all over. And they were surprised, you know. The two goals were redeemed. And we, give it, we defeated them 4 2. And that's one thing they never forgot. And I remember that was the time the Olympics kept on saying, Abache, Abache. You know, they had a hope that, you know, they can still continue. But we defeated them. So that one thing about House of Folk, I'll never forget. It was a great, great match. You see, then when you talk of giants in football at that time, you talk of a player like Amadou, Amadou Akuse from, uh, uh, what do you call, Nima. You talk of players like Adou Damite, Ofe Dodu. I mean, all these both, I think we have to mention them because it's very, very important. Without them, they couldn't have been asked for both. You see, we talk of, of players like uh, Adou Dakun. These are central defenders who can't, I mean, the moment you, they live there, then, you know, and one thing with House of Folk is that there are certain positions when we take it 
No other team can come and take it for mess as far as the Black Stars are concerned. You talk of central defenders like um, Sidi Arthur, number five is Jesse, you know. Then, then, then Sidi Arthur left the scene. That was in the colonial period. He left the scene. He gave the position to, uh, uh, no, first came uh, Yesi Bryant, who became, you know, captain, the first ever captain of the Black Stars, you know, in those days. You see, Bryant, you know, then C.D. Atta came. If I played with C.D. Atta at the same time. And then from there, the Jesse went to Adudako. Giant blaster material. He played blasters, not blaster material. He played blasters. Then he came to Adudamite, also House of Four captain for years. Then from there, he came to Ofe Ansa. You know, it went like that, you know, until now. So, in those days, when you wear a jersey in a crowd house of folk, you feel proud. And uh, I think um, it is important to mention that the, the players were very humble. You know, very humble. They were not. They were. They were given peanuts, peanuts. But they played their hearts out for the club, and that is what we lack now. But of course, these, these were players with a lot of skills. Lot of skills. Uh, because um, we played a match also with Kotoko, I remember. Also, we were leading, they were leading by two goals, Kotoko. That was in Kumasi, I remember, years ago. And uh, we were able to equalize the two and defeated them 4 2. That's also for you follow me. So, these are some of the things that. Uh, and I remember the days when I was a kid, when you, as of all, is playing with Kumasi Asante Kotoko in Accra. My God, everything comes to a standstill in Accra. Because it's beautiful to watch footballers. If some of the players can come to my mind, especially Kotoko players, I can remember some of them. A man like Baba Yara, whose name has been given to the state. Oh, I mean, these are players you have to watch. Excellent footballers with skills. But Bayara, you have to, it's unfortunate he died very early. You follow me? It was even through football. Well, they had an accident somewhere in Quiver Hills and he got paralyzed. And that was that. You follow me? Babayara, Salisu. Babayara will be on the right wing and Salisu will be on the left wing. And when they are coming, it's frightening. But as of had very good defenders. Very good defenders. Aduda Akun, you can't beat him. Adodamite, you can't beat him. These were very good central defenders. And of course, very good goalkeepers too. You know, which are all blasted material. So that is how it has been. And where our forward line has always been very excellent. Ajiri Finn, Nomai 8, Jesse, permanently. Amadou Akuse, you know. And a lot of them like that. I can't remember Ofe Dodu, you know, on the, on the right wing. He is a, a faster. He runs very, very, very fast. So, you know, these are some of the things that uh, the club has been noted for. And I'm glad we are still trying to do our best. But I think we have a lot to do. Our well, football is changing and it has changed a lot. When we heard that we are going to pay Santos, include, including Pele, the word Pele, we were so excited because Somebody we've heard about for a very long time, and we have never seen him before, we have never met him before. So we were excited. Very fortunately for me, I was in the national team. So a week before that match, uh, Blaster went to Niger. What was it Niamey also? To play the Nigerians. And uh, we beat them, I think, nine goals to two. And I scored two of the goals. So when we came back, we came on Tuesday. And that match was supposed to be played on Wednesday. But we had information that uh, uh, Santos were in Nigeria. And they couldn't make it to Ghana. So the match was shifted to Sunday. And it was very good for me because 
that Wednesday I was uh, feeling feverish. And if I had played, I would not give out my best. So I started treating myself. And we also, as of course, what we also as a team, we also started organizing ourselves by training. We train, I think, on, we didn't train on Wednesday. We train on Thursday, Friday. We train on Saturday morning. Then we went to camp uh, at uh, one of our management members, Janfi Brothers, who the special, the shirt specialist in Accra by then. He has a house in a uh, pig farm. So that's where we went to camp. Then the following day, we had, you know, as footballers, we had a workout in the house. Then Amusang Banamoshi, the Pili, who, you know, the executive wanted to, you know, organize the match around because he's called, called Pili. About 11, 11, 30 days, we couldn't find the man again in the camp. So we had the, the executive had to go to search for him. Later they found him and they, they brought him. So we went to Swalaba, that's where we dress up, as a fashionetist house. So we dress up and then we come to the, to the stadium. And then the match started. It was a very interesting match because we made our mind that uh, even if they would score a square, not to go so good. About 15 minutes in the first half, I had a ball from my half. We were playing towards the blaster square end of the field. So I raced with the ball, went across the center line, then I shot. Ah, then it was a ground that the, the ball went straight into the net. Then the quick part, he couldn't believe it. He looked at his back and saw the ball and then he started crapping. Then I also felt, I felt so great. I, said, e! I scored such a goal. And that was the first goal. Then they also had, a, 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 you know, a very good combination to our half. Billy had a ball. He dribbled two of our people. Then Adudam, Adudam came, you know, to slide the ball. So he blocked his leg. And then he shot the ball with his left foot. And he equalized. So first half was 1-1. One, one. Then when we came in the second half, Amusan also scored and he also equaled us. So it became 2-2. You no, know, it was an interesting match, very brisk. And um, as I said, when the game itself was played, I was not in the country. I was then a student outside the country. I was then in Europe studying. And, but I was able to get a film and study the film carefully and I also I had a very 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 uh, good um, uh, what do you call it, information from Abeka Ankara. He is a, he is an encyclopedia of, of, of the history of Asofu within his period when I, and he was one of the boys who played you know incidentally he scored the first goal <laughs> he scored the first goal and then when he scored the first goal, after some few minutes, it was neutralized by Pele. And it surprised him very when you see the film is so interesting. It was it was neutralized by Pele. And then the match continued. So it was one one. Then who scores a goal again? But Amusi. And the whole stadium was, you know. Now, one of the uh, Brazilian Santos boys, you know, managed to equalize the game to 2-2. But our boys, House of Football boys, a goal was called by George Alassan, who should have made 3-2 in our favor. 
but it was ruled out by the referee. The referee's name, I remember I was a small boy, I, was, I remember him very well. He was, his name was Mr. Hulady. Hulady. An interesting guy, you know. So, he's a Ghanaian. Oh, he's a Ghanaian. He's a Ghanaian from, uh, uh, from I think, uh, Accra area. He was known in football. He would go into the football books today. I, I think himself and uh, Frank Mills, others, you know, these are the early referees we had in Ghana, you know. It's quite an interesting, uh, and uh, I remember also those who were on the bench at that time there was a gentleman by the name Akutenati. Okay, he was a goalkeeper, and then uh, a gentleman by name Nomo Michel. Uh, he was, in fact, somebody who can play two, three, four, and five at, at any time, any given time. So you can see that we've had footballers here before, you see. And then there was another child called Atia Mohammed. He could also play seven, eight, and ten at any time. So we had, you know, very good footballers. And the club was really a well-known club. Just immediately or almost after that, as of all went to England on the tour. The whole House of Football went to England on the tour. And they played, I think, uh, Southampton and Stoke City. You know, they stayed for just about three months and they came out. So you can imagine the experience. You see, and one funny thing that happened was that when they came back, they came back I think somewhere around June, and by then there was a lot of rain. It was a rainy period, you know. And they played, they played, they played against Olympics. And uh, as when they were coming, the, their managers got them hard stocks. You know, you know that one, not the rubber one. The hard stocks. So they came with it. And they were using that, you see. And Olympians were surprised that the air boys were falling down. <laughs> and as boys were <laughs> so the supporters went wild. They went wild. Then they said, ah, what sort of books are as people using? And they started attacking their, uh, their management, if you follow me. And then they were saying that, as of all boys were using rain boots. <laughs> you know our time. <laughs> you know, those days we, we don't have coaches so I play as a foot. I could remember there was a time they brought a coach, they say he's from Brazil, Orlando. But he couldn't stay for quite a long time. Normally, it's the senior players in the team that take up the, you know, during training session, I do the bill actually. He said, well, let, 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 come on, line up. Let's do some uh, uh, running. Let's do some physical. But as for selection, yeah, is, is the executive do, do the selection. Ha. Huh. So, supporters, I could remember one day we played a match at the across for stadium. We scored one, but we didn't do well. Then, after the match, we were sitting in our bus. When the supporters were passing by, one of them said, In Gan, Nyemkwa Wayen, Nyemkwa Wayen, Nyemkwa Wayen, Nyemkwa Wayen, Nyemkwa Wayen, which means you are looking at our faces. You didn't do well, Akwa, Akwa. But we see nowadays, when a, club, a team didn't do well, no, it's the, it's the coach. The players go scot free. So the players, they feel, as for them, they, you know, they don't do anything. Eh. Because every, every uh, 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 trouble goes on, on, on their coach. But the players too sh should take up some of the blame. They should. They should take up some of the blame. So they should also sit down and uh, analyze themselves. What are we doing good? And what are we not doing good? Then when they subtract it, they will, they will see what they are doing. So these are some of the things. They should try, they should try. Goal scoring, you know, is the end of the game. If you don't score, you don't score goal, how can you win? Yeah. So I, I want to advise them to 
start shooting at goal. As for football, if you don't shoot at goal, you won't score. Whether far away, whether in the 18, whether behind the 18. If you get the chance, shoot. You know that team from where? Because you have a whole world team. Santos was well known. Yes. Even though he came from South Africa, South America, it was a well known club all over the world. And in fact, uh, before they came to Ghana, they were in Nigeria for a short period or two. But they enjoyed their stay in Ghana. And Ghana, uh, the match should have been played, I think, on a Wednesday. No, on a, on a Saturday, right? It was shifted into Sunday, which was the sixth at that time. You follow me? And it was a wonderful match. Wonderful match. Well, they knew, before they came down, they knew the strength of Africa as far as this of his football. And they knew also the strength. We also know the strength of Pele, especially Santos and Pele. And um, I remember when I was chairman of Hassel four years ago, uh, I was given a tip by one of the directors called Tommy Thompson, another key figure in Hassel four, very key figure. You know, Tommy he gave me a tape. I think I still have that tape. And some of these uh, tapes you use in those days, you can slot it in. And it was all about Pele and his football. So I used to screen it to Shamukwe, Abladekuma, Joado, Anyeteso. They watch it in my bedroom those days. I was then living in cantonments. I housed them in my house. They follow me. So, you know, they, 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 by then the boys were eager to learn. They were eager to learn. And um, I remember uh, before I left, I told them one thing that um, uh, when you stop playing House of Folk, then you should be out of the country. But don't leave House of Folk and go and play any local club. You are, then you haven't got anywhere at all. And they, 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 they did exactly what I, I told them. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Shamokwe was outside, Joado was in the US, and uh, almost all of them. And uh, what do you call it? Dubati, you know, they, got, they all got spread out. Into, and that, that really started the foundation on the largest scale of footballers playing outside. But when I got them, they was our average age was about 16. But if you are playing and you cannot shoot at goal, then what are you doing? Yeah. So I want to advise them. They should listen to their, their coaches. They should listen to whatever he, he tells them. I know they, they, are, they, they have been practicing at shootings. They, they, they should try and improve on, on it. So that we, you know, as a food. Oh, a class of a class four stadium, no way. No draw during our time. When you come there, you get it. And so they, they should take that thing up. And that uh, any time they, they play, not even in Accra, outside. You should try and, 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 and shoot at goal. That will give them their goals. If you're not shooting, you will not get their goal. But if you are shooting at a goal, you get a goal. Well, the way I see football now, you must have speed, hmm? strength, and skills. Now, if you have the three, plus a little resilience, you know, you should be able to, to play anywhere in the world. Now, if you watch modern football now, speed, that's what I have always been hitting that when a player is old, he should be released. I mean, the match we had recently in Algeria, tell us that our boys are aged, period. So I think if, if the country really wants to forge ahead, then we need young people, very young people to be trained. They will use their youthful age to build a strong club. Because we have won football, the continental title, I'm talking about Africa Cup of Nations, on four occasions. 
And during all this time, we have had very youthful team. Very, very youthful team. But by Yara's time, and they were in their twenties, in the early twenties. Some even eighty. Your friend who started at the age of eighteen, they were playing blasters at that time. You follow me? But uh, the point is that uh, right now we have a lot of age cheating, and uh, age cheating with also all sort of uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, dubious acts you know going on you know and, and with that you can't you can't have a strong team you can't and also since individual companies cannot really pump in money it's the responsibility of government to pump in money because the government that pump in money had the resource i'll give you examples uh whoever first cup was in the time of, of Kwame Nkrumah i was in a small boy but Nkrumah put in a lot of money. You follow me? And he took somebody specially for sports, who, who responds to him directly by the name of um, Ohinijan. I'm sure you might have heard the name. Yeah, Ohinijan was in charge of all sporting activities in Ghana, especially football. You follow me? Uh -huh. And Nkrumah won not once, twice. Twice. The third time was under the leadership of General Ike Achampon. Okay? And Achampon also, very interesting, maybe he was calling Kope Nkrumah, I don't know. When, even though he was head of state, he took uh, football or the sports section of football, the sports ministry, he took it as his, his responsibility. And just appointed one Lieutenant Colonel called Sintim, 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 no, Sintim, Sintim. And the person was always reporting to him what was happening. And once again, we had youthful players, well trained, well disciplined, and they won a match. That one took place, the, the, the cup was given to us at Accra Sports Stadium. You follow me? And right, I remember the then head of state, he was then living in a Burma camp. He sent a helicopter down to the pitch to pick them to his residence. Very interesting. So we can this is somebody who is interested. Okay? That was our third win. The fourth win was when we had um, President Liman as president. You heard of President Liman before. Yeah. He also had interest in football. And also money was put in there, even though by then the country had problems financially. And good results came out. Just when he was about to see success, and then the coup d'etat came. That was Rawlings, uh, what do you call it, 31st December. You follow me? And then things were very rough in this country. I'm sure you boys don't know about what I'm trying to talk about. Things were very rough. And... Um, but food was still pursued. The era of um, uh, this boy, Abedi Pele, and uh, this uh, Yabua and others, you know. And these were very good footballers. And um, we didn't have money even to fly the boys to the match. So Gaddafi, because the final wasn't played in Libya, Gaddafi sent an aircraft to come and pick our boys to, 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 to Libya. And they thought by doing that, we might play soft. But no, we played and won, and they were surprised. They were very much surprised. And we used to have a lot of shortages. Essential communities were not around, shortages all over the place. And I don't, I don't know who told the Libyans, so they brought in tons of toilet rolls and started throwing it on the field. So we, we've had good team before. You know, right now it's worrying because we really don't have good team. Local boys can be trained to get to that level, I can assure you. But all these boys are meshing who, who have won the match for it. None of them was a professional, to my knowledge. None of them. From Kruma's time, they were all local boys. 
Then they play the same Egyptians, they play the same Tunisia, they play Algerians, and we beat them. Now, after that last one on the Rollins, we've never won any match before. The fans told you exercise patience. Playing football is a very hard work. You know, you should, you should be thinking split of a second. When the ball is coming to you, you should be thinking very fast. Then you know what to do with the ball. Either to, to pass the ball to somebody or to control the ball and take it along. These are some of the things. So the supporters should have patience for the club. Before a match, you don't know what is happening to a, a player. No, you don't know. Maybe the player is not feeling well, but he will not tell the coach. So the coach too will feel him. When he comes to the field, he will not play well. So I, w I want to advise the supporters to have patience, both to the players, the executive, the management, to everybody, because all the first want to win. So if you don't do that, it means you are going to spoil the, the team. I want to advise the, the management and the players. They should sometimes, you know, sit the players down and talk to them. What is wrong with you? Tell us. During that time, uh, H.P. Yamite has been doing that. Though he's a, a member of the club, he, he's become, he, he later became uh, the chairman of GAFA. Always come to our camp. Say, come. What is wrong with you? Tell, tell us. Then you see, every player will bring his grievances. Then they will collect it and work on it. Meet the players, not the supporters, the players, because they are the playing body. The players are there to support all right, fine. But if the play, playing body is not playing well, eh, then the executive have, 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 you know, have a case to answer. Then you talk to them. Eh, what is wrong? Tell us so that we shall work on it. Then they will bring, bring out their differences. You know, there was a time, some will say, hey, you are Becca. When you get the ball, you won't pass to me. <laughs> You see, oh, that is his feeling. Maybe there was a match I had, you know, had a chance to pass to him to score, but I didn't. So he, he took that up and he told me, face blank. So you, also, you should also think right. That, oh, sorry, sorry. Next time when I get the ball, I'll pass to you. You see, these are some of the things. Hello. Football, like any other profession, uh, it needs a lot of practice before you can be perfect. So this rush uh, to the outside world when they are not matured, they should stop it. Because most of them, when they get there, they become bench warmers. It's so sad. There are a lot of them outside there like that, facing serious difficulties. Even where to sleep is a problem. I don't know why they don't, the press don't bring that out. So I would advise them, the young ones in particular, go through the meal here, make sure you get matured and get the experience. And if you are good, you'll be bought in millions of dollars by any club. Because the world itself is now a global village. Much is going on on our pitches here, are shown everywhere in the world. So if you are good, they will see you. You don't have to be, to be, to be shown to the world by, by an organization. A match played even on our local pitches here can be seen. So if, to me, that's the only advice I'll give them. And, uh, and then one thing also is that if you come to play hearts of folk, never think you are bigger than hearts of folk. Because we've seen it before, at least during my era as chairman of the club. If you are not sincere to the club, you shall be taken off, just like that. That's what they should know at the mind. It is in their interest that some of us are with them. I don't gain anything from us of all. It's in their interest. The present 
chairman of the board of Hustle Folk, pumps in a lot of money into the club. You follow me? So if you are a footballer, all he expects from you is to devote your time, your time and focus on your, your own. That's their profession. They should focus on their profession. And we are putting a lot, lot of structures that if you are good, we can even make sure the club helps you outside. We have, we have done that since we came. There are examples. First of all, they should be disciplined, both on the field of play or outside the field of play. They should also know that they are playing for a big club. So they should try to give out, give out all their best. You see, sometimes, sometimes I listen to commentary, commentary, both in tree and English. I have two uh, 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 small radio sets. So one is for tree and one is for English. So I've been following the pattern. Some of them play like there is nothing at stake. <laughs> oh, as a folk, I've come to play, I will play. No, but there's something more to the playing for a class of folk. You should have, they should have winning mentality. They don't have it. You play fine, fine. Later on, you can say, as of fine, fine, no goal, they are, don't like it. If no fine, fine goal, if fine, fine to go in, in, in every man's life, you can't get everything smoothly. You sometimes goes up and sometimes you come down. But when, when you are down, you try to organize yourself and try to climb up again. That is a class of hope for you. Let me give you a song. Oh, I saw folks, they're gonna lead it in. Strong as the old tree, we fought of men. We fall and rise as the waves of the sea. For Christ is on our side, we never say that. As I said before, in every man's life, you go up and you come down. The uh, people who, you know, organize us of folk as a team know that Things will not, you know, go on smoothly with them. Sometimes they go up and sometimes they come down. But when you come down, you try to organize yourself and climb up again. again. And you, you, you should not say that, oh, I'm down because I will, I will stay there. No, you, you organize yourself and climb up. So this is how this, this, is how this sound is telling us. But don't they? Okay, Cafe na kan e ku ose ko nsho e reverse okay ya e ya se 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 keke ya ga de ko keke ku wo be lada e shike de wo aso fo keke ji e ya dan no twa ke se e ya kan ye me yi isani wo me mbo ni wo ko tin be wo support o tin wo ko tin be wo organize wo he ake o don to the team me teach mo to ba fe to o ba wo tin be no no ji no ni mata shi je na a a a a je me can be Come on, can't fit here, fit here, our friend. We'll have some food, and I can't give enough feeling.